there. I'm Melody Mooney and today I've been giving you tips on how to fold your clothes and store your clothes. Now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about storing those clothes for winter. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, I know this is a little gross, but you want to go ahead and kill all the moths you can see in your house. It's really important to get rid of those moths before you're storing your things. Also, um, what you want to do is clean everything. I usually clean it by hand just in case there's some eggs or moth eggs. You don't want them to hatch while they're in storage. So get everything really good and clean and folded before you store. I also like to put it in a little dryer sheet because I like everything to smell good and that way I'll actually want to wear it when I open it up and take it from storage. What you can store it in is these storage bags, the very large ones, or those storage bins that seal up. The reason why you want to get bags or bins that seal is because you don't want any like creepy crawlies or anything getting in there or mildew if you're out storing things in the garage or maybe a crawl space. So I would get some of these really good storage bags. I like the bags because you can lay them flat and stack a whole bunch of them up. Also, if you're storing things hanging up like suits or pants, I would invest in getting some cedar hangers. Cedar is a natural moth repellent. You can also get those cedar chips, but don't go the way of the mothballs because they actually stain and they don't work and they smell really horrible. Another natural repellent is lavender. I always throw this in with things that I'm storing. It makes it smell so good and again you will want to wear things when they come out smelling good. So there you have it. Some ideas on how to store for the winter so we can get on with the summer.